Hey, good morning. Coffee time. Mati, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Let's have a coffee Sunday. But this one will be a short coffee. Good morning. Australia, India, Sweden. Good morning. Uh, Yupso, good morning. So how is everyone? Mm -hmm. It's end of the week. Sunday morning. Natsa, good morning. So anyone want to share something? Or anyone to want to share the setup on uh, with a picture of, of their setup? Let me check. We still have that topic on the forum. I can't see it. I'm pretty sure it's here. Yeah. Uh, Milan, good morning. Uh, I'm okay. It's Sunday morning. <clears throat> it was a crazy week. Uh, not only I'm very busy, but I'm trying to, you know, uh, try to you know determinate the working time then i have the family time then i start playing last epoch anyone is playing last epoch i mean the, the game is crazy it's insane so i have to split myself uh, uh, between those things Good morning. Very cold in UK, Don. Yeah, indeed, it's like uh, one degree outside. It's <laughs> very cold. Yeah, you're right. Uh, a very good morning from Uganda. Morning. Good morning from Gaza. Never heard of it? Come on, man! It's 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 is is the best game at the moment. I mean, I did try Lost Ark, I did try Diablo Four, uh, I try a few games, yeah, a few MMOs, but Last Epoch, it's 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 on another level. It's it's something else. Let me check one second. On Twitch has like twenty K views viewers right now in this moment in the morning. But yeah, it's the game of the moment. Now, I know everyone is waiting for PoE 2, but yeah, at the moment, uh, Last Epoch is cool. Why does the trailer noise look like League of Legends? No, 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 no. 
No, this, this is a RPG. This is same like Diablo. Same like Diablo, same like uh, Lost Ark, same like Metin, same like many other games. They sold over uh, 1 million copies. Just to understand how uh, popular it is at the moment. Anyway, regarding the electronics, yeah? Uh, I didn't share anything in the last few days. But I do have a bunch of videos I have to edit and uh, post. But I was very, very busy. Have you played Fortnite? E e yeah, I did. I, did. I played Fortnite. I played uh, Apex, Apex, Apex. Yeah, Apex. No, Apex Legends. That, yeah. Gustavo, good morning. Buenos dias. <clears throat> I'm waiting for Throne of Liberties. Ah, Rusla, Rusla Nas. You, you are waiting for the same thing I was waiting before. But the game died before the Amazon uh, bring the game here on the rest of the world. The game died already. <laughs> yeah, check uh, check the news. Check the news. So the game launched on, uh, I don't know, North Korea or wherever, and the game died. Do you drink tea as well? Yeah, there are in the morning. Yeah, I have like my uh, bread toast, you know, with a slice of cheese and butter and tea. Yeah, yeah, I do. Like how I said, this will be a short coffee. So how is everyone? Hmm? No one want to share anything? Proper calibrated tea, yeah. yeah. My wife is proper calibrating the tea. You fix any unusual things lately? Yeah, I did. I did. How, how did you know? But obviously, I don't have... Let me check my phone. I don't have... Uh, I don't have a video, you know, I'm not doing videos for a lot of jobs. Because because of the time, you know, I have to move. But what I fix lately, weird, yeah? You ask for something weird. This is weird enough for you? So check here, it's a CCTV thingy, yeah? And uh, it was burned. One of the subscribers sent all this thingy. So it was shorted and a chip died and the chip actually has no marking on it and yeah. Yeah. So this is something weird which I fixed in the last period of time. Uh the Magedon Natsa. Multumas mult, multum appreciates. Uh, what it died? Why it died? I don't know. I, you know, they, they they don't know. I mean, you launch a game and you're not sure if that game it will, you know, it will, uh, the, 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 the people it will like the game or not. So they launched the game and the game died. On the same way with Diablo 4. They launched the game, people didn't like, and they stopped playing. If you see Diablo 4 as like, 1,000 viewers on Twitch. I mean, I play Diablo. I play Diablo till the max level. And uh, it's a nice game, but it's, it's not much content, you know? It's, it's not much what you can do. So as soon as we reach the, the max level, it, nothing, nothing, you know, catchy, nothing interesting there. Waiting for the GTA 6. Yeah, my son is waiting for the GTA 6. What do you do when the chip has no marking? It's end of the road. Yeah, nothing what you can do. So that chip uh, was, you can see it, it's like, you know, the, the manufacturer delete the writing from the chip. 
and was nothing was a was a power supply a, a power supply chip, and what you can do, I mod, I modify the the schematic so he can use it with the with the plug because it was shorted. It was so he can use it with the with the power adapter and uh, yeah, it will not charge the battery anymore. Bitcoin back on track. Time to turn off. On my old my GPU miners, tonic. You already lost. You understand? Because the meanwhile, the GPU got older, it's, and now the people. The, if you say is back, uh, is back on track. The Bitcoin, they will buy new GPUs, and you know the story. You always need the better stuff. You need processing power there to do something ah there are okay i'm really sorry for that i'm really sorry yeah good morning from mexico probably there is hot and a nice weather canada mel good morning TP for Z? No, 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 mm. no, no. It's not that cheap. This was a proper switching power supply. Uh, Halima, I didn't see that Lenovo new transparent laptop. No, I didn't see it. Victor Nata. <laughs> P A J D A K O. Hey, Mr. Sorin, what is the normal voltage? Should I find a RS MRSTP in? You know what? I stopped checking those things. No, I stopped. I, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Because there are manufacturer where the pin has to be high to be like you know like uh, functional the chip or they are cheap the pin has to be low and you don't know if it has to be high or low that's the thing if you have schematics but even if you have schematic i'm not sure yeah, maybe with schematics yeah maybe schematics you can but i can't i can't advise you know the the electronic changed I mean, when I was like 17 years old, I got a hired in a big factory, big factory, a thousand of people. And uh, I was uh, on a small uh, team of three people servicing some CNC machines and many other machines. Now, those CNC machines was like, like a van, that side of the CNC machine, like a van, like a big van. <clears throat> Now, I'm pretty sure not many people from the chat, yeah, they seen how a industrial <clears throat> device documentation looks like. And uh, I never seen again till that point. I never seen that kind of documentation to repair, to service something. I mean, you have the documentation, you have the schematic. And on the schematic, you have like every, after like every, like, let's say, uh, amplifier on that time was like 741 the operation amplifier you have the signal before you have the signal after and you have you know the the signal the wave shape and the levels and everything you know what i mean that was that was the way how you 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 service or fix repair a industrial thingy because those the, the machines was like some uh, german machines yeah and obviously if the, this big factory has to fix them, they have to call the people from Germany to come and fix them. So uh, we were doing, based on their documentation, we were doing the, the servicing. And it's, you know, that when you have that kind of documentation, it is impossible, literally impossible to not fix it. <laughs> Uh, it was beautiful, you know. You can see every signal, everything on the schematic. <clears throat> uh, 
But what's so simple, you know, you have the oscilloscope and you have the schematic and you can check, oh, this point, this point has to be like that, this point has to be like that, oh, this point has to be like that, and that's the end. <laughs> you know, what's some um, big, uh, uh, how it's called? Uh, variable um, power supply. But anyway, it was with big thyristors, like thyristors, like the hand side thyristors. And the engine was like, like you know, like an airplane engine. But the electronics was like, you know, modular. And, you know, you have like a, like a thingy with boards inside. On layers and yeah, proper nice. And you open the the the, the, the boards. You know, you just yeah. industrial electronics. You know, I really loved industrial electronics. <coughs> yeah, nice memories. <coughs> uh Mark. Yeah. Yeah, like variable drive, and you have the Atajo generator, and the base, you know, the motor has a Tacho generator, and was the this thingy to adjust the, the CNC machine computer, it will adjust the, you know, the, the speed, the RPM, the things like that. Triax now was the resistors. You have uh, 380, the voltage, and you have, it was like free, free, free. Yeah, yeah, like three stacks of the resistors. Yeah, because a resistor, what is a resistor? It's a diode, you know, with gain. So basically, you change the AC on DC with the resistors. Now, the resistors. Triax, they will pass the AC, but using the resistors, you will uh, change the, the current from AC to DC. What is the today topics? It's, it's just a short coffee today, Silvio. But I'm going to tell you a funny story because you're Romanian, right? Okay. I have a big achievement on my family, with my wife, yeah? We argue for years. Now, let me stop on this point and tell you a story. On Romania, we have a cake. You cannot buy it, yeah? yeah it's a cake, a sweet cake. You can't buy it. You, you can't buy it. The only way to have that cake is to go to a funeral, yeah? And on the funeral... They they will cook that cake. Ah, uh, uh, look there! Look on the chat! Look on the chat! <laughs> Diana, she's laughing. Anyway, I didn't have that cake from you know, like over twenty years. Coliva, exactly, Sylvie. So uh, every time when I told Diana, you know what, I'm, I really miss that cake, and Diana was like. Yeah, just wait someone to die, and you can have it there on the funeral, you know. And I'm waiting for, like, over 20 years. On, on, on Like, a few days ago, I said, you know what, it's, it, I can't just wait till someone die, you know. Just do the cake, just cook it. You know what I mean? I can't wait anymore. And, yeah, that's the story. That's, that's a funny story. So, uh, I win, yes, or I won. Yeah, Diana has to cook that cake for But you can't just wait someone to die to eat that cake. You know what I mean? It's 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 absurd. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It's funny. Nice achievement. Exactly. I'm. I'm. I just you know level up. <clears throat> I like your nice laptop. Yeah, all are nice laptops. What is the name of the cake? Coliva. 
but it's kind of a cake with uh, you know in, in the top you have like uh, candies and proper nice sugar and that's a nice one what does the cake taste like it's a unique taste well yeah Yeah, but it's pretty funny, you know what I mean? You have to wait someone to die in order to have that cake. <laughs> uh, Fendula. Yeah, no, 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 not quite, not quite. Halima, just share the link on the, on the chat. It's okay. Thank you, I just replaced the IT-A5-A6-E chip, but still not working. I think I should order a new program one from AliExpress. Uh, <laughs> Moldo. Băi, știi cum e? I-am zis de ani de zile, băi, vreau aia, ce n-ai, bă? Cât dracu să mă aștept să moară careva? <laughs> Uh, you know how it is with the program, with the chip programming. You are not sure about the, the if the chip is programmed or not. I have someone on email. Um, he said he ordered a chip, uh, and the guy said that he programmed the chip, but the chip comes like brand new with the foil on it. And he soldered the chip and didn't work. So you really need a, like, uh, you know, like trust people so you know if you buy the chip and if you pay for the programming they will program the chip uh Christakis tech uh yeah i did fix a lot xbox 360 yeah the old one yeah the you know remember the the, the, the flat ones you remember the old ones 360 yeah It was a pain back then. Uh, it was, you know, we were making like crazy money. You know, same like the PlayStation, you know, just uh, flux under the CPU, just reheat the CPU and that's all. Not the CPU, the graphics. Sorin Dicero, Regina Romania, Brasov. Brasov. Hello from Indonesia. You should try Liberica coffee next time. Probably I tried. I try a lot of specialty coffees from all around the world. Rodney, good morning. Cornel, salut din Sinaia, frumos acolo. Marian, nu știu că și nevastă mea caută. Yeah. Ok. So, uh, this was a short coffee. It's 24 minutes, like how I said. I'm busy. But I'm busy with the jobs on the week time. But today is Sunday. So, today I have to play... Uh, I have to play uh, Last Epoch. One second. Uh, Eric, you know what? This is a funny story. I mean, I know exactly how the old technology it is. But I fixed a Dell, like, uh, probably like two weeks ago. And uh, I was trying to figure it out. Wait. Maybe the screen is OLED, and uh, yeah, let me find the backlight voltage. But on the LED, on the OLED screen, uh, you don't have backlight voltage because every pixel is LED. Yeah, that, that's funny. Yeah. 
so LED screen, they don't have backlight. Frank, you mentioned funeral. Sorry for your loss. <laughs> it's not my funeral. I, I'm, I'm waiting for someone's funeral to have that cake. <laughs> it's about a cake. But obviously, not here. And I cannot have it here in the UK. Uh, you, you know, it's just, uh, it's just, it's just a funny story. No more than that. Uh, Thomas, I have no idea. CPU shutting down, PC for overheating. How do you know it's overheating? Hmm? You know what I found? Uh, I've actually too. Thank you very much for your donation. Thank you, but you don't have to. You know, we're just having a coffee here. But thank you, thank you a lot. Um, I have a case here, yeah, with my daughter computer. So everything was fine. New thermal paste, the, the the water cooling system was fine. And the computer was shutting down for overheating. And I found out actually the pump is, is not working. I mean, I got no errors, nothing, but the pump, it was not moving the water. So that was the reason why the computer was shutting down. Uh, okay. I've seen pump failure all the time. Yeah. No, the water was there, but I don't know. The pump failed. The pump has some electronics inside. Uh, Seki, Emmanuel. Good morning from Ghana. Uh, I can't see your comment. I, you see, you, you have here a heart. You can't see the comment. That's crazy. But please, what is the name of the battery analyzer? Uh, Seki, you have in the description of, of every video, like I fix a battery, on the description, you have the link. Yeah, You can buy that device from there. Use the this coupon name to get $10 discount. Yeah, Just watch the description of like any of the videos. Chat BIOS programmer you recommend, Craig, I recommend the Revel Pro one. I mean, I'm so, you know, I'm so happy with that programmer. If you try to save some money, you can buy the other one, I use it, but this one is fast. You know what I mean? It's fast. And that's what you want. You want a fast programmer. You don't want to wait like 10, 15 minutes to program a chip. I can, I can you? Over, override the BIOS if it gets corrupted. You know what? I had a job last week. Of course, I didn't make the video. So, so for some reason, every interesting video, I missed to do videos. And uh, I was surprised to find out what happened exactly. It was a BIOS issue. Yeah? It was clearly a kind of a BIOS issue. Anyway. I read the chip, I save the, the chip image, yeah? Then I, I got another BIOS uh, file, but from a mistake, I write exactly the same BIOS back to the BIOS chip, and the laptop started working. And I was like, how? You know, how, how is possible? So you, you, you just read and write back, and the laptop started working. You know, I had like, I had like the laptop was going on in no picture, something like that. And after I write the BIOS, same BIOS, exactly same BIOS file, 
the, the laptops start working. Insane. Insane. I think it's the NLBA uh, battery analyzer. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Crazy, Mark. Yeah. Happens to you? Yeah, I can't find a logical explanation. I can't I can't find a logical explanation. Apart maybe some uh, partition was corrupted. You know like the partition table inside of the BIOS or the file system. Well, still, I read I read the BIOS first. Yeah, insane, insane. Yeah, but was not was not that the case. Yeah, I I just you know I just go straight to the BIOS and read the BIOS, try to reload the BIOS first and see if it's a BIOS issue. When you write back the BIOS, all settings are to default. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense what you are saying. Yeah, basically you read the BIOS. Obviously the BIOS you read. In order to clear the EC chip, yeah, you have to disconnect the battery. Or if you have a BIOS battery, you disconnect the BIOS battery. So in that moment, the EC chip is loading the firmware from the BIOS. So uh, basically, it's just enough to reset. Well, there are so many cases. In some cases, you know, the EC chip has a firmware inside. It's complicated. But has no sense if I'm, uh, you know, reading and writing the BIOS, it will be like factory settings. It doesn't make sense. Maybe BIOS chip is frozen. How can be frozen? How can a chip be frozen without power? Do you remove the... No, I didn't. I, I don't remove the BIOS chip tonic. No, I don't do it. Pointless. If I found the laptops which I cannot write, the BIOS chip on the board, yes. But what I'm doing on that moment, I'm plugging the power. Yeah, so I'm plugging the power so the chip has power from the motherboard. And probably some pins are released and allow me to write the chip. Do you have a link for the BIOS programmer? I look in your store, but no luck. Let me search on Google one second. Uh, Reveltronics, yeah, they from here. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, this one. This one. This one. Yeah, one second, one second. Where is my chart? Yeah, this one. Yeah, this one. This is the programmer. I mean, it's around 100, but you know, it's doing the money. Especially what I like is the voltage selection. I can set up any voltage. I can set up 3 volts or 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, something like that. Yeah, I can change the voltage. Good morning from New Jersey, Boris. Good morning. Boris the German. Nice nickname. How often, how often do you replace the BIOS battery? Wreck, never. You have a dead BIOS battery, just charge it a little bit with the power supply and you're good for another two years. So usually, you know, <clears throat> usually the, the BIOS battery, it will supply power to the EC chip if if it's not charger plugged in and if the battery is completely dead, only on that point. But otherwise, if you have a battery inside, if you have the charger, if, you know, with the laptop off, I mean, uh, the BIOS, you know, the EC chip, it will not take power from the BIOS.
Oh, Silvio, the Pogo pins was like, uh, I, I seen on eBay, like someone sent me a link, like, with like 40 pounds, something like that. So it's not that expensive. Cheap adapters. I'm not using cheap adapters. No. Uh, can can we change the BIOS chip with a different number BIOS with the same voltage chip? If it's the same voltage and same memory size, yeah, you can, obviously. Is there any way to unlock the batteries on the BK chip without the analyzer? Uh, Peter, sadly not. Apart from that analyzer, it's only one more device in the world which is doing the unlocking, but that one is more expensive and less uh, less options. You know, here you have options to charge, discharge the battery, test, and many other things. But in this world, there are only those two devices to unlock batteries. I know people said, you know what, sorry, and it's too expensive. And indeed it is. If you don't buy it for 10 years, uh, it is expensive. But you have to you have to have in mind, you know, this guy, which I know the guy, he's a proper genuine guy, a Romanian guy. In order, yeah, in order to build this software, there are chips. You cannot read the firmware. They are, they are protected. You cannot read what is inside. So the only way to figure it out what the chip is doing is to sniff. Yeah, you, you have to sniff the information. Yeah, in order to find out what the chip is doing. Now, when you work like days, years, yeah, in order to build something like that, then, uh, you know, it is expensive. Rebel Pro gets 1K from AliExpress. Uh, but Rebel Pro gets a, it's a tool from Europe. I believe it's uh, Lithuanian. Or, or Poland or somewhere there. Contact us one second. It's it's from Poland, it's Warsaw. Why you will buy it from AliExpress? It's like a hundred there. <clears throat> Why you don't use a mag magnetic cup to put the remove screws? Uh, Rodney is just, uh, is just, you know, it, are here. So I'm working here and the screws are here. I can't lose them. Are there? You know what I mean? I'm finished the job. I put them back. I mean, I'm not waiting with the open laptops. That's how I'm trying to explain it. Do you have any device for AC? Programming, uh, Lucas. I'm using SVOD programmer, but I'm no, I'm, I don't recommend it, just because it's mad expensive and nearly at like two years from where I bought it, and the device didn't pay even half of the money. Like I didn't took the money out from uh, buying that device, so um, it's not worth. It, I don't know. Depends of the the level of work. If you have like a lot of ECG programming, yeah, maybe. What are the plans for today? Playing all day long, you know what? Playing all day long. That's what that's that's the plan for today. Playing the last epoch. On your last video, latest video, where you buy the Yeah, I I just said, Ronaldo, I just said there is what programmer, the cheap programmer. You mean the bias program or the easy cheap programmer? You see QTPM sniffer. Uh, no, I'm not doing it. Craig, you know, all those kind of... I'm, I'm not on that. Uh, I, I was doing before, like iCloud uh, account removal from 
I share a lot of videos how to, how to do it on some point. Uh, but any other stuff like you know removing the bit locker and accessing the data which you are not sure you know the owner of the device actually is the owner that's is going a little bit on the tricky part do you have any idea car is you bore repairing no not really I didn't go job I mean but I can't see what you can repair there because the the the, the EC, uh, ECU bore repairing that board will it will come covered with uh, some kind of uh, resin, yeah. <laughs> so that's that's how they protect the board against uh, liquid damage. So anything you want to repair or check, yeah, even check, you have to take that resin out. Apart from the fact that you actually you see something exploded there when you see cold solder, yeah. That's something that you can repair. The otherwise, it's a pain. Can you accept laptop reparation? I've come from the UK. So I'm from Sweden. Nabil, I can't. And the problem is why I cannot take jobs from outside of the UK is the postage. Yeah, I can't send it back. You can send it here, yeah, for repair, but I cannot send it back to you. I can, but over a hundred pounds postage. So the, the price of the postage it will be more expensive compared with the price of the repair. Just leaving on one side, the issues what I have, you know, I'm try I try before to send things and they come back, oh, contain batteries. It's like <laughs> what do you mean contains batteries? I, I send a phone and the, 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 the package come back. Con we, we they co the package come back from the X-ray, yeah? From the X-ray saying it contains battery. Like what, what? What do you expect to be like an engine there, like a petrol engine inside of the phone? Of course, it's contained battery. Crazy. And you know what? I I done it on the same way they require, like the battery to be under thirty percent charge. And no, it, it come back, and I have to send it like from some weird like I, some people they do the you know they have a van and they, they they make like transportation back to europe so i have to pay that guy with no papers nothing and okay can you leave it there i can't i can't send it i can't it's it's i don't understand why is this pain Mas no, it it will not be helpful. No, no, because it you don't understand it. I send a pack. I send a, le a letter. Yeah, on uh, I send it to the United States. Yeah, what like thirty pound for 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 an envelope? You know, like a <clears throat> like a yeah, big envelope, like like a shoebox package, like thirty pounds for a shoebox. Just think how much it would be for a laptop. It's not worth. And then I have I have the other problems, yeah? I have problems. Customer send and then the, the, the custom it will it will email me, yeah, to pay the to pay the the custom fee, you know, the like importing, and I, I try to. No, I'm not importing. I'm repairing. This is my website. I have this kind of issues, and you know, I don't want to go there. So I just prefer not to take any jobs from outside, because they will not think you send the laptop for the repair. They they will think you sell it to me, and I'm the buyer, and I have to pay a custom fee. No, no, I don't want to go there. <coughs> I have enough bad experience do you recommend the power supply you use sorry yeah i do recommend a, a analog power supply yeah a, a linear sorry a linear power supply <clears throat> what can i say Silvio? what can i say 
it was a very bad move. It was a very bad move, and it was, and, and you know, I don't want to speak politics. No, 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 I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. No, no. Let's let's avoid. Let's avoid. Good morning from Madrid, Spain. Okay, I'm, um, I'm, I'm I think I done. Wow, I can't believe forty-five minutes, forty-six minutes. Uh, thank you very much for being here. Yeah. I wish to everyone a beautiful Sunday, yeah? Just take a break, just enjoy, you know, the your time, spend with the family, or outside if you have a better weather. And um, you know what, I will uh, I will take some time edit some videos and I will upload some interesting videos next next week, yeah? Okay? Yeah? Good. So uh Thank you for being here, having a coffee with me, and uh, see you on the next one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Bye.